So um, thank you guys for all being here. And Governor, I am proud to tell you that we have 100% mask compliance. <laughs> Things we say now, right? So um, we have a lot of dignitaries with us, and I'm really excited today. Uh, you know, yes, it's a beautiful bridge. It's, it's an amazing project. It's a game changer for the city mayor. Um, but more importantly, I'm so happy to see my friend Margaret Rose Henry, who I've known for decades. So it's even, even more awesome that we're naming this beautiful bridge after a beautiful lady on a beautiful day. How about that, you guys? It's a beautiful day, right, in Wilmington. So um, I just wanted to say a couple of words. Um, th th again, this was a, a major project. It is a game changer for the city of Wilmington. Um, there's a lot of dignitaries I'm going to go through. And if I miss you, I'm sorry. It's because you have a mask on, and I, don't, I can't tell who you are. We have the governor. Yay! <laughs> we have Senator Tom Carper. Yay! <laughs> Mike Prasicki, Mayor of Wilmington. Yay! <laughs> I'm not going to do this for everybody, but just these guys. All right, we also have um, a set, we have Dave McBride. Where are you? Please raise your, raise your hand so people can see you. A little, la little, far, little farther, Senator. <laughs> okay, we have Senator Darius Brown. Where are you? Right there. Yay. Um, and, of course, Stephanie Bolden, who uh, brought this uh, naming to fruition. <laughs> Stephanie T. Bolden. And we have, uh, let's see who else we have. We have Matt Meyer. I know I saw you, executive. Yep, yep, tall guy, can't miss him. Um, we have city council president Hanifa Shabazz. Where are you? Yay, my girl. And then fourth district council member, and the bridge is actually in her district, Michelle. I know I saw you too. Yay. And then council member at large, Rasheem Dixon. Yay. Hello, sweetheart. I think I got everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Maybe the governor can help me out if I did. <laughs> So um, again, you know, really awesome project. It was actually two projects in one. Um, Tizzy Lockman, where are you? And Frank Cook, I got you too, Representative Cook. Thank you. Man, doing this with masks is very challenging, I got to tell you, very challenging. Um, but again, this is uh, two projects in one, um, $82 million, continuing our investment in the city of Wilmington. Um, it's a project that's been on the bo our books for almost 20 years. Um, I know, Senator Carper, you uh, fought for funding for it as well. Um, but I really just wanted to take the time, these two gentlemen right here, this is Kevin Lindell and Jerry Lovell from Department of Transportation. Give it up for them. They were the project managers uh, to see this project to completion. A, a lot of uh, Del Dot folks, I mean, raise your hand. Pam, I saw you. Mark Tudor, I saw you back there, even though you're not with us anymore, but wherever you are, raise your hand. Now, all the way back there. Um, Ray Petrucci, I mean, so many uh, Del Dot folks were involved in this, but I wanted um, Kevin Lindell, since he is a product of the Del Dot Leadership Academy, to say a few words about the project, and he's going to kill me, but he'll be all right. Yeah. All right. You Thank you, everyone. I don't know if we get close enough. Um, I would just like to say it was an honor and a privilege to be part of this project. Um, this project's a great example of what can happen when a group of people come together and work towards a common goal to deliver a project on time and have it be successful. Um, and I'd also like to say it's all about team. Um, I had an awesome team with this job, um, starting with my project supervisor, Jeff Monteo. I'd like to thank him for his dedication and his hard work. Without him, it wouldn't have been possible to deliver it on time. I'd also like to thank R.E. Pearson, um, our state contractor. So with this job, we, we faced many obstacles and that came up throughout the, it seemed like every single day something new came up, whether it was uh, drain, working through drainage issues, um, flooding, uh, unforeseen conditions, um, whether it was utility conflicts, where we had to sit down, game plan with Pearson, and come up with how to change our phasing and the sequencing to keep the job moving to still deliver it and have it be a success. So they did an awesome job with that, and they delivered, and thank you. Um, and then I'd just like to thank everyone else. I apologize if I miss anybody, but all, all of the Del Dot folks, um, uh, all the stakeholders involved, whether it be RDC, Pet Nero, uh, Blue Rock Stadium, um, and I'm probably forgetting any, but it, we all played a part in, in delivering this project and making it a success, and thank you all. Okay. 
And I, I also see Secretary Garvin and Senator Townsend. Thank you guys for being here also. And um, I also want to re uh, recognize uh, my folks from the Council on Transportation who actually help us and oversee um, our projects. Um, Ted Williams, who was our president. Wait, is he? That's okay. And Marty Lesnar, who is going to be using uh, the, uh, the, the PED trail right after this, I'm assuming. Okay, so now I want to just move on really quickly to um, invite Stephanie T. Bolden. Come on down. She's got some inspirational words for a fine lady. I want to recognize our Senator, Chris Coons, okay. and my colleagues, Kendra Johnson and Representative Cook. Raise your hand. Any other state reps here? Thank you. It is a beautiful and great day. I'm so glad that um, I have the opportunity to stand here and do this for a favorite person, uh, someone that's known me longer than I've known her now. <laughs> However, um, it's important that we continue with the history that's here in Delaware among the people that helped to make it. Uh, too much of our history is consigned to facelessness, which makes it all more desirable that we pass on whatever is possible by bringing alive the names and faces of those who build bridges before us and those who continue to build bridges that are still here. We know faces, but we don't know our history. So today, it gives me a great opportunity to talk about a champion of growth and improvement, compassionate about our community, becoming self-serving, a woman who has stressed education as being the pillar of our society, and that we are required to be knowledgeable academically, politically, and socially as a means of self-worth. A woman who is admired and loved, respected, and a woman who also has said to me that I'm going to run out of bridges to name after people. <laughs> However, <laughs> I said, but you're going to, I'm not going to run out of bridges when you build bridges throughout your lifetime, and they will never, ever end. So you never stop building bridges, and they'll never disappear. So I would like for each one of you uh, to, well, if you're setting to stand up, <laughs> but for lady, ladies and gentlemen, for a woman who has learned that service is the rent we pay for living, it is the very purpose of life and not something that we do in our spare time. Marion Wright Edelman. My friend, my colleague, my confidant, advisor, Senator Dr. Margaret Rose Henry. Wow, good morning. This is better than the Academy Awards. <laughs> I'd like to start off by thanking Representative Stephanie T. Bolden for recommending, Stephanie Terrific Bolden, for recommending me for this, for this honor, naming this beautiful bridge. Uh, and I want, I'm really especially proud because my grandson and my granddaughter are here and my family's here. And I know they wondered, what did she do for 25 years? <laughs> she was just never home. I'd like to introduce them at this time. I'll start with my oldest son, John Henry and his son, Marcus. Miles, Miles, Miles. <laughs> I always do that. And then my younger son, Marcus, would you stand? His wife, Deliana, and, and, and my granddaughter, Gabriella. I think this is the first time that all of my family has been together for something about me, and I'm really especially proud about it. I also want to thank some of my former colleagues from the Senate, the Pro Tem and, and, and uh, uh -huh, others that uh, are here, because I know it's hot. And uh, I know that you came because you love me, and I want to thank you for that. The other thing I want to say is that this is an honor that I never dreamed I would have. Uh, and I want to tell my, my, my grandchildren especially, I want to tell Miles and Gabby, that I built bridges between different political parties, between different points of view, and between people who needed help and those who had resources to help. So that's why I'm so excited to have something that will be a lasting a memento of my work Thank you so much for coming today. Margaret, 
Senator, if it's okay with you, we would like you and your family and Representative Stephanie Terrific Bolden to unveil the plaque. Thank you so much. There'll be lots of time for, for, for photos. Don't worry, I got men melting back here. Um, so I really want to, uh, now it's my, it's my honor and I'm glad that, um, Governor, you get, to, you get to talk about something other than the, uh, the current situation in which we find ourselves. I don't like to say the words. Um, so uh, please give a big round of applause for our Governor, John Carney. Thank you, Secretary Cohen. What a beautiful day, a beautiful honoree and a beautiful bridge here. When I first heard about that we were having this event today, I th had uh, three thoughts. One was, finally, we're going to celebrate this amazing accomplishment. It's been on the books, as Secretary Cohen said, for at least uh, 20 years. We have the fathers of the riverfront uh, behind me are going to speak in a minute. They remember this bridge as an important uh, key to getting this part of the riverfront uh, connected with the other side. Then I thought, how the heck are we going to do it with the restrictions this, this damn governor has put on for COVID-19 in our state with face mask wearing and social distancing? But uh, as Secretary Cohen mentioned, we got 100% compliance here at this event today, which <laughs> might be the first time that we've had 100% compliance over the last uh, couple months. And the last thing, I scratched my head a little bit and I thought, did Senator Henry pass? Did I miss that? Because we know we usually honor people after they've passed away. And we don't pay honor to them for their service and what they've done for our community while they're still here among us. This certainly is an exciting day to connect both sides of the riverfront, open up uh, South Market Street. Del Dot has done an incredible job, not just on this project, but on the South, South Market, South Walnut Street uh, connectors on the other side of the river. And we're going to see amazing things, as we already are, with the 76ers field house on that side of the river. As I, I mentioned, normally we honor prominent public figures after they've passed away. And you're here, live and in living color, color with your family and, and with all, the, all your friends and associates. And it... it, it, it People have alluded to it. It's fitting, I think, to honor Senator Henry with a bridge. Because a bridge, for me, is two things. It's a welcoming uh, structure, and it's a connector. And I think those are two qualities that have been a very important part of your service to our state, and certainly part of our friendship. Always welcoming people of all different races, creeds, colors, and, and uh, from different communities connecting communities one with another, connecting political leaders one with another behind very difficult uh, issues and challenges as, as you and I both know. And you've just provided pr tremendous service to our state. You know, when we name a bridge, I assume it's gonna be the Senator, Senator Margaret Rose Henry Bridge. It won't be long, I suspect, that people will be referring to it as the something. I don't want it to be, I'm going to be the first to put a flag in and say, let's call it the Margaret Rose. I've always loved that name. It is so welcoming. With all due respect to the Henrys, as opposed to the Henry, right, or the Margaret. You know, we have the Link, we have the Bob, we have the GW Bridge. Let's make this the Margaret Rose. And be a symbol for all of us that what Margaret has represented in her service to her community is the way we all want to come together and work together. And it's a, an indication when we do work together with our federal partners, with our mayor, with the local officials. None of this happens without all the people who've been recognized, both the elected officials, those who've been part of the funding of it in the Senate and the House, with the community, with the contractors and the business community, everybody kind of working together. That's the way we're going to get through this pandemic, and that's what, the way we're going to move forward with the great example of Senator Margaret Rose Henry. Congratulations, and God bless you.
Awesome. I love that, the Margaret Rose. We might just have to redo the sign now. <laughs> All right, next up is uh, somebody who's also very proud today. It's the mayor of the city of Wilmington, Mike Krasicki. Mayor. Thank you, Jen. Um, you can tell how excited I am about today. This is the first time in three months I've worn a necktie. All for you, Margaret Rose. And I, I have to tell you, I was relieved when, uh, when the governor talked about uh, me and Carper and called us the fathers of this thing. Lately, I'm starting to feel like the grandfather of things. <laughs> time. Thank you, John. Um, Margaret Rose, I, I can't tell you. Um, you talked before about the love you felt. It's real. It's real. We do. We name a lot of stuff for people that, frankly, not so much love. <laughs> but it's all. this is all good. It couldn't be any better. Um, you know, I got here April 1st, 1996, as the first executive director of the Riverfront. And right after that, Megan McGlinchey came on and was at my right hand for all that time and now, of course, runs this place. And for us, this is, this is a remarkable day because we've talked about this bridge for a long time and we've talked about it uh, as a way of taking that side, the forgotten side of the river, and this side, bringing it together into a much grander project. And, um, and so what's really, what's really uh, great to us is to come here and see such a beautiful structure that accomplishes that. And I can tell you that some bridges aren't so beautiful. You know, this is a magnificent structure and Jen and her team can be congratulated because I know how hard they worked in those days. Ray Petrucci, you know that. How hard we worked about getting people to design and have something that really is attractive and boy, they fulfilled that part of it. Uh, I, I need to tell you how much we appreciate the work that DelDot does for our city and for Riverfront. <clears throat> I need to tell you how important Denrec is to this Riverfront. There is stuff everywhere down here. I mean, there is not a square foot of ground that doesn't have gunk from World War II in it. And we work at Denrec hand in glove all the time to, to recycle this real estate so it can be productive. But I, I wrote Jen a letter back, I don't know if you remember this, a little handwritten note, and I just felt it one day I had to do this. I, I wrote her a note and I said, don't ever think that I take what you all do for us for granted. We are so grateful to you in the city of Wilmington for all the investment that are Dell dot dollars throughout the city. And if you go through the city today, you're gonna see we have basically repaved the entire place. In fact, be careful, because some of these guys will go right over you. I'm just telling you, that's, so, um, I guess, um, John Carney, thank you so much for the great leader he is. He's going to be, when this is all, when the dust clears, there'll be a handful of governors who wind up to be superstars, and John's going to be one. <coughs> and Tom Carper, Tom Carper, you know, really and truly one of the great fathers of the riverfront because uh, uh, he took a chance on me, and I'm grateful that he did because it was changed my life. I've just never done anything that's been so magnificent and I hope I can say this about the chapter I'm in right now before it's all finished. But this has been a work of love and a labor of love, something pretty extraordinary. And I, when I walk around here, my chest swells with pride. And so Tom, for that chance, I want to thank you. God bless everybody. Margaret Rose, so happy to have you a part of this great story. Thank you, Mayor. And, and if you recall, with those conversations, I said that what we build will be beautiful, and we've delivered. It's beautiful. So next up um, is our U.S. Senator Tom Carper. Happy to have you. And it's, I want to thank you specifically because, um, again, without the federal participation, this project would not have happened. And without your champion ending it, it wouldn't have happened. So thank you very much. Senator. Good morning, Delaware. Good morning. It's a great morning at the Riverfront, isn't it? Say hello to Chris Coons over here. Chris, this is Chris, my wingman. Lisa, I don't know if Lisa's going to be able to join us, but this is a project, over 80% of this uh, project, the bridge, funded with federal money, over 80%. I don't know if we have anybody here from the Federal Highway Administration. Put our hands together for uh, Federal Highway Administration. Thank you. Thank you, Chris, for your strong support. Lisa, thank you for your strong, strong support. There's somebody standing back here, not lurking in the shadows, but maybe sort of. It's Bud Friel. Bud, 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 step forward. Come on, Bud. This, uh, this may be Bud's last public appearance as uh, one of the leaders of Delta. Get in the huge round of applause. Come on. On your feet. 
On your, there we go. All right, Bud. In 1974, a guy named Jim Sose got to run for Congress, and a guy named Ed Friel ended up being his uh, campaign manager. I was the treasurer and fundraiser in a children's crusade, and Bud was the accountant. He was our uh, guy who kept the, the, the books. Pete, Pete DuPont raised more money in, in his campaign, in interest income, than we raised in our campaign. That's, that, so Bud didn't have a lot of accounting work to do, but he's done a, a great job in the campaign, and he's been a great servant to the people of Delaware and the uh, people of, of City of Wilmington. Nice, another nice round of applause. Bud, you're the man. You're the man. Uh, 1994, I literally walked down uh, this, uh, not the sidewalk, not the river walk, but I walked down a uh, dirt path. This building was not here, and I was with a guy named William Donald Schaefer, who was the, uh, he's about to step down as the uh, governor of, of Maryland. He's the former ma mayor of uh, Baltimore and the, uh, the father, if you will, the father and grandfather of the Inner Harbor at the city of, of, of Baltimore. And uh, the Governor Peterson, Governor Peterson and a fellow who had been president of the University of Delaware before that, Archer Bond, had come to me as a new governor. I think John was our uh, deputy uh, chief of staff and uh, Ann Camby was our secretary of uh, transportation. And uh, Len over here was uh, running the show, and Lisa was a member of our team. So they came to us with this great idea and said, maybe we could transform an industrial wasteland into this, into this. And I said, are you kidding? And uh, we brought in William Donald Schaefer. We literally walked down here on a muddy day in the winter, and uh, he said, this could work. He said, this could really work. We showed him the, the designs and everything that we'd come up with. He said, this could really work. And he said, he gave us some great advice. He said, create something like a Riverfront Development Corporation. Some of the movers and shakers, public, private sector. He said, hire Mike Przicki. <laughs> hire Mike Przicki to be the executive director. Make sure he's got Mike here by his side. Is Mike here here? Put your hands together for Mike here. And Megan, Megan, Megan. What a team, what a team in the legislature, gosh. Patty Blevins and Roger Roy and everybody was just hugely supportive as we got, uh, we got started. There's a woman that uh, most of you never heard of. Her name is Beth Osborne. Let me hear you say Beth. Let me hear you say Osborne. So, let me hear you say thank you, Beth. Now, the reason why we're thanking Beth is uh, I was a new member of the Environmental Public Works Committee. We had jurisdiction over roads, highways, bridges. We had earmarks in those days. We got a $20 million earmark for a bridge. One, and one new senator got a $20 million earmark. And you know who got us for us? Beth Osborne. So we re remember, I just called her on her way over here today to, to thank her, uh, Margaret Rose. The, uh, the other thing I want to say, sometimes people think of roads, highways, bridges as uh, you know, ways to move people, m ways to move product, and, and, they, and that's true. But roads, highways, bridges uh, also have a, a way of uniting us and pulling us together as a people. In a, in a day and an age in a country right now where there's a lot of division going, a lot of building of walls, not bridges, it's just great to be able to literally cut the ribbon on a bridge here that provides opportunities for all kinds of people. Folks in Southbridge, you might never really have a, much of a chance to come. They'll be have a chance to come. All kinds of people will be able to come here and be together. And um, couldn't be named after a better person. Mark Rose, I'll close with this. In this, the 40 years I've been privileged to serve the people of Delaware, I've been your treasurer, congressman, governor, senator. I'm grateful for all those opportunities. I've always had terrific people around me. That's why I've had some success in my life. But uh, all those years, one thing, Margaret, has been named after me. It's a combined water sewer overflow. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> Under the city of Wilmington. And so I don't look with envy at this bridge named after you that I spent 20 years trying to raise the money for it in the bill, but I love you, and I'm happy to have this bridge named after you. Good luck, everybody. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now to, to wrap us up, Senator Chris Coons. Thank you, sir. Margaret, what a beautiful bridge. We are in fact here because we love you, we wanted to honor you, and we are grateful for the 25 years of public service that you've given to all of us to lift us up. So to John and to Marcus, to Dee Dee, to your grandkids, thank you for letting us have Margaret as a leader for Wilmington, for our state, for our community. For so many years, you have made such a remarkable and lasting difference. 
I love John's idea that this should be the Margaret Rose. It's a beautiful name and it's a beautiful bridge. And John made the comment that you were wondering if we were going to have a successful event because of that damn governor who makes everyone wear masks. Well, I'll say this. I am really proud of the amazing job that this damn governor is doing. He is doing a damn great job. Please give Governor Carney a round of applause. As the rest of the country is learning the cost of leadership that wasn't attentive to the challenges of this pandemic early, we are seeing progress and optimism, and that's because of our governor. It takes a lot of hard work by a lot of folks to build a gorgeous bridge like this. So to the thank, my thanks to the folks from Brightfields, to Mike's point, the folks who found and cleaned up all the stuff that was left over, the legacy of the Second World War, to Ari Pearson, to everybody at Del Dot who designed this, who supervised it, everybody who worked on it. A whole lot of design and effort, heart and labor went into this bridge, and it is a beautiful bridge. Um, to Mike Perzicki, our mayor, uh, the six years I spent on the Riverfront Development Corporation were wonderful. I was always happy to cast the vote he told me to cast, and I'm grateful that I did not get in his way or slow down his vision. But getting this bridge built was a key piece of it. And I'll tell you, back in 2005, when I joined the RDC, and he was all excited about an earmark that Senator Carper had gotten us in his role on EPW, the critical committee for public works. It didn't seem like it was going to happen that year or the next year or the next year. And here we are 15 years later. So folks, to a man who I hope in January will be the chairman of that committee, my senior senator, our former governor, the person who took the vision of this riverfront and made the investments to make it real, please give a hearty round of applause to Senator Tom Carper. God willing, we will get earmarks back someday, and then I'll get to name something spectacular after Thomas R. Carper, a little bit better than a combined sewer overflow. We'll see. You never know. What does a bridge do? It connects. It allows travel. It opens up opportunities. If you look at this bridge, you can't just go over it in a car. You can go over it as a pedestrian. There's a whole separate path for bikes, for pedestrians. You can go under it. You can go over it. You can connect South Bridge and this side of the river from an amazing wetland now in restoration and a future of economic growth to the established now riverfront. Margaret Rose, in your 25 years of service, one of my fondest memories is brunch at your house. A remarkable southern hospitality brunch where everybody got to have a chance to just connect, to understand how we were going to get through things. And your record is summarized in this plaque is of connecting people. The homeless with the housed, the infected with health care providers, the young with the seasoned, folks of different races and backgrounds, creeds, and a way that created opportunity for all of them. This beautiful bridge is not just a way to connect two communities and two sides of a river. It's a way to leave a lasting and a powerful reminder of what you did year in and year out, patiently, passionately, persistently. I so look forward to calling this the Margaret Rose because we all are here today with love in our heart and gratitude for the decades of service and the way in which your life has made an amazing difference in our community. Thank you, Margaret Rose, and congratulations. Okay, thank you. That, that's our formal program, but if you guys would like to follow us, we're going right up those stairs to where the flag is on the bridge to cut the ribbon. Those who do not want to go up the stairs, we will have transportation waiting for you right here at the end of the walkway right down there. Okay? Here we go.